I'm Mike Lee, the Assistant Superintendent in the Buckeye Elementary School District, and we are here excited to be doing an interview today with someone, well, at least in our world, is pretty famous. Um, and this is Angelo Rossetti, and he's here today to talk about one of the coolest organizations that I've seen and been affiliated with that does some amazing work. And so, um, but there's people out there that, that especially if they might be new or um, new to the district, and maybe they, they don't know as much as we'd like them to. Um, and so this is a good opportunity to talk about the BESD Foundation. So, Angelo, welcome to my little pretend television show. I'm glad you're here today. <laughs> so thank you for the warm welcome, Mike. <laughs> it's a pleasure. So um, Buckeye, uh, Buckeye Elementary School District Education Foundation. We are, um, I'm just a member of the group. There are several There are several members on the board of directors. We're all volunteers. Mm -hmm. So all the funds that we raise go back into the Buckeye School District. Um, other than the, those minor operating costs that we have, those sure. pesky government regulations. Right, right. And we, our focus is to raise money to give back to the teachers and the students within the district. Our focus is solely the Buckeye Elementary School District. Okay. We're a not-for-profit. Okay. We were founded uh, five years ago as a not-for-profit, and, and we spend our whole year looking at different fundraising opportunities and then we look at ways to give that money back into the classroom. Okay, cool. So if I'm a if I'm a community member or parent, the foundation is beneficial to me because my my uh, child is going to benefit absolutely from the investment that you're helping to put into the classroom for teachers, right? Absolutely. So you know we have a philosophy that the impact that we make on a child is immediate. So a child that's in a in a school right now in one of the Buckeye schools will benefit from the work that we do, mm -hmm. but we also look toward the future and we look at that child and say, the impact we make in that child's life today is going to affect not only that child sitting in the classroom, but when he or she goes home, uh, their peers and family members are gonna be affected, and then we look even further into the future and say, how's it gonna affect that child five, 10, 20, 30 years from now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, uh, I had one uh, person say to me that uh, they felt that, uh, investment in the foundation was an investment in the community because they yes. saw it very much as a community-based yeah. um, thing that really whatever they were putting in they felt mm -hmm. like they were getting back out so so that's from a parent and student perspective uh, what about teacher so if I'm a Buckeye teacher um, this how does this affect me I think the answer is kind of obvious mm -hmm. but but still I know you have a, had a lot of experience mm -hmm. trying to support teachers what, what's that look like um, on your so we all realize that teachers, you know, schools are not being funded properly mm -hmm. at the levels they should be funded. Right. And what we bring to the table is we can we can fund special projects, things that teachers dream about and think about. Something special a teacher says, oh, I could do this really cool project if only I had the funds for it. Mm -hmm. And the district does an awesome job with the funds that it has. But unfortunately, you know, let's face it, you guys aren't being funded to the level they should be funded. Mm -hmm. So that's where we have the ability to come in and fund those special projects. And for a teacher, those projects are personal because it's something that they thought about, something they they envision, and it's for their kids. Right. You know, teachers are always focused on what's best for their kids. Right. So that's where we can come in and help out. And they took the time to, to make the ask and to reach yes. out to you for the support. Usually it's something that they've spent a lot of time thinking about and planning mm -hmm. out. And, um, and the other thing about funding that districts deal with is it comes with so many restrictions. Mm -hmm. And there's some things that the foundation has the ability to fund that sometimes districts can't that are really good exactly. for kids and great activities. And so um, I know that everything you guys touched last year proved to be very special. And um, a lot of times the kids at the end of the year, those are the projects that mm -hmm. um, that leave kids and teachers and community members talking. So it's, it's, a, it's really appreciated. So I know that... Uh, there's a lot coming this year from the foundation. I, I know you guys have been cooking up all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff behind the scenes, and you've got really big plans. Um, but my understanding is there's already something percolating out there right now that's relevant to teachers, and what would that be? So right now, we're in the what's called the mini-grant phase. Mm -hmm. So we give our the money is given to the teachers through a, an application process called a mini-grant, and the teachers need to fill out this application, very simple, and they, they uh, do a budget, mm -hmm. uh, explain to us what, what they want to purchase, and uh, they give us some, some idea of what, what the project's going to be. For instance, it was a garden or robotics project. Mm -hmm. We have one of the coolest projects that we came across our desk last year was the mummification of oranges. Ah. 
which was I've done that simple, when I taught sixth grade. I did a that simple project. little project, but the kids got so much project. out of it. Yes. So we're, we 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 uh, notified the teachers. We've done that actually uh, earlier in the summer. The grant applications are due right after Labor Day, uh -huh. and we'll go through the grant applications. So uh, they, they get sent to us. We as a committee sit and go through them. We ask the district to please go through them also to make sure that we're not funding something that there's money already in place for right. that makes sense. And then we select from that list of, of the projects we're going to fund. Uh, we earmarked $25,000 for it. And last year we were able to fund all the projects that came across That's our incredible. desk. That's an incredible amount of money to support yeah. teachers. That, so that's common. So the teachers really want to be on the lookout for their opportunity and, and get those ideas that have been mm -hmm. simmering around in your head, um, get those ready to kind of put on paper and mm -hmm. explain. And so that's coming. Um, and now, let's see, I know there's a couple other things we're talking about for the year. First of all, we're going to do some more of these videos uh, to oh, keep cool. the public yeah. informed. If you're willing to come back, we'd yeah. love to have you on my Thank special you. morning <laughs> show. For some special have you noticed uh, my strategic <laughs> product placement for Buckeye Element? That's good <laughs> coffee in this mug. Um, so we're going to do some more of these to dive into some of these subjects a bit more if you're, if you're really interested. And I know a couple of the topics will be how can people get involved. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that this is something that a lot of community members believe firmly in and mm -hmm. they love to help. Um, and so we'll dive into that. But if you, if you had a, uh, a quick, you know, just a quick touch on that topic, what would you say to somebody who happens to see this video and says, I'd like to, I'd like to help. I don't want to wait for the next set of directions. What okay, so there's a couple of different ways. One way is that we have a monthly meeting and we have board members that are made up of community members. And we're always looking to uh, add new board members that, that would be interested in serving okay. on a board. So that's okay. one option. Uh -huh. um, we accept donations. We just had a, a, a gentleman from the city of Buckeye donate $1,000 wow. through his company to the foundation. earmarked for projects in the schools. Um, we do fundraisers, so if somebody was, was interested in saying, hey, you know what, I think I could work on a fundraising committee, mm -hmm. we would love someone to join us in that capacity. Sure. Um, and then we do yearly events. Okay. You know, so we did last year our gallery casino night, this right. year we've got that on the burner, and we've got something else pretty cool that we're I've working on right now. I've heard some rumblings about what yeah. you guys are thinking about, and I think it sounds pretty cool. So a cool thing that yeah. we're... Just putting the final touches on right. that will allow us to raise more money for the district. Right, I know. Uh, I know. We've there's been a lot of scuttlebutt around here about that idea, and people are pretty excited mm -hmm. if you're able to pull that one off. I think mm -hmm. you're going to though. So, all right. So, just to kind of summarize, then we've kind of learned a little bit about who you are, mm -hmm. um, the people doing the work, and again to reiterate, this isn't this is a volunteer group that are Completely. just doing this for the for the betterment of our of our community and of our kids and our schools. Um, and then we've talked about the fact that there's grant opportunities for, uh -huh. for teachers uh, for this year, wonderful chance um, to, to fund some of those projects maybe that they ordinarily might not be able to get funded. And then we've talked a little bit about how someone could get involved. And so um, they can reach out, uh, website, uh, visit the district website, link to the right. foundation. Right, right their foundation. Um, yeah, if you ever get lost and don't know how to get the foundation, you can always go through the district. We can point you in the right um, in the right direction, even though they are a volunteer organization separate of the district, we work very mm -hmm. um, collaboratively together and, and uh, for the betterment of the school. So, um, so we can do that. And then to be on the lookout for more videos and more information and some really cool ideas going forward. So um, hopefully we've got some people excited about the work cool. you guys are doing. Yes. And, um, and I just want to say, first of all, to those of you out there who are watching this, who are already involved in the foundation or who have made donations, you mentioned the gentleman that gave $1,000 already. I don't know how, I wish there was a better way to say thank you than just saying thank you, but I can't tell you how much um, your contributions and your support, be it financial or time or whatever, to a group that does this kind of work is incredibly appreciated. And I think I can speak for teachers and kids when, when I say that that is much appreciated. And then lastly, I think as a district person, um, I know that I speak for Dr. Sandvik and the entire cabinet when we thank the work that you're doing. Volunteer, goodness of your heart. Um, and the rest of the people on that board and, and also who just volunteer by event or for a specific moment, how thankful we are to have such great partners with the foundation. So, so on behalf of the board, I want to say thank you yeah. to the board, the board members. Uh, we really work. We really try hard to do the best we can for the district. And there are teachers that support us all the time and there are community members that support us. So thank you to everyone that supports the foundation. Yeah. It's for the kids of Buckeye. Yeah, it's a great partnership. We look forward to seeing you involved and a part of what's going on this year. Um, and hope you'll tune in, be on the lookout for additional videos on our Facebook pages and on YouTube. And uh, we really appreciate your time today. Take care. Thank you.